project is titled um, I Wanna Deliver a Shark. So this project approaches the problem of overpopulation and food shortage in the future. And also talking about endangered species. So I'm the woman about like 30 something and then like I have to think about the baby issue. Do I want to have a baby or not? So then actually at first I thought, well, people saying it's a overpopulation and the food shortage and then like environment is getting worse and then I'm not sure if my baby is going to be happy in that world. So then also I was wondering what shall I do about this my urge that I don't you know I'm a female and then my body wants to have carry something in my body and then you know as a woman you have an organ and then that every month it's kind of poke from you know poke poke me like from inside and then so what can I deal with this situation? So I was wondering, is there any third way? Maybe in the future, maybe there is a technology to solve this problem. So example like synthetic biology is maybe able to ask to deliver the, the placenta that connect human and dolphin baby. So actually I thought, well, I'm not vegetarian. So then I was wondering also, how can I be a vegetarian? And then I wonder if I deliver a food, food as my baby, maybe I can be a vegetarian. Or also I'm a like a <laughs> scuba diver. And then I really love the marine life. And then my favorite ones are shark and dolphin and then if I can deliver like endangered species, also they are in danger because of the human being, because we are eating or we are hunting. So maybe that would be my dream answer for this question. So actually there is um, my dilemma chat. Maybe you can follow my yes and no things and maybe you're gonna end up in different place. And that is also fine. And then, yeah, there is a film that a girl delivering a dolphin in the water. So here I'm showing the three minutes film about like how the girl delivered a dolphin baby and then also she giving the milk. Well because of the dull human placenta not through not giving the uh, immune system to the dolphin. So actually like cows or pigs are inherit the immune system from mother by the milk. The first emitting milk is special one. So we can also synthesize with this, I synthesize this milk also in the future. Another room's work, which called Impossible Baby. So this project is about also reproduction. Well, future of reproduction. And then, so actually this year, few scientists had, have done the research about this, uh, IPS cells, that is kind of stem cell research. And then that kind of give a clue about we might able to have a baby from same-sex couple. So 
so actually this is not a sci-fi dream anymore so then but my question is especially japan like we never really allowed to talk about gay marriage in the kind of parliament place officially we never talked about that so then how can we allow this technology to use in reality and then who gonna decide and how so actually i wanted to stimulate the discussion about this technology if are we ready to use or not so then if it's not to use why not i wanted to have a kind of nice argument uh, also like uh, quite often people stop thinking okay so maybe stem cell research gave us a technology that deliver a baby from gay couple and most of people say no immediately without thinking about the meaning Actually, what I have done for this project is I found a married lesbian couple and then I asked to ask them to share the DNA data and then from the DNA data I, stim uh, I simulate the baby randomly for two daughters so then from that DNA data I can tell their kind of how they look and then their characters and then maybe how they healthy are or something like that and then I made a family photos that they are having breakfast and they are having 10 years old birthday party and they're also playing around in the backyard and then such a kind of usual you know family photo how do you say for this family? Are you say no or yes or what? If you say yes and no, what is your reason? So I wanted to kind of talk about and then I wanted to break the people's kind of mental block to talk about this issue more deeply.